In Update 8, the curtain wall tool now supports multi-segmented curtain walls or corner mullions. When placing a curtain wall, you can place as many segments as you want to form a multi-segment curtain wall. Each segment has the same height and mullion spacing, and a parametric corner mullion is added at each corner, or vertice. Once you select the curtain wall item, there are a couple of things to be aware of. First, the mullion continuity should be set to continuous vertical. And of course, you must select a corner mullion. There are a few provided in the delivered data set. You can use these as templates for creating your own parametric cells. The place by method is set to line. The height and justification for all segments is set. Also new in Update 8 is the ability to set a side offset. This allows you to trace a slab edge or follow a column line. Then you simply input the vertices of the curtain wall as if you were placing a line string. A right click or a reset completes the placement and the curtain wall is created. A vertical corner mullion is placed at each vertex, properly splayed, based on the angle of the panels. Acute angles can be created as small as 15 degrees, although I think that limit can be changed with a configuration variable, but obviously at some point the angle could be too acute for the geometry. Each panel can be selected and modified separately, but each panel is aware of its neighbors. So if a base vertex is selected and moved, both panels are adjusted. The same is true if the height of one panel is adjusted, then the height of all the panels are adjusted. So if you are using curtain walls in your models, I encourage you to try out this new functionality. It adds a lot of flexibility to the creation of curtain wall. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.